Judy Bloom, Freckle Juice, Chapter 2 That night, Andrew had trouble sleeping. He kept thinking about freckle juice. Maybe the reason no one in his family had freckles was because no one knew the secret recipe. If they never even heard of freckle juice, then how could they have any freckles? It figured. Andrew didn't like the idea of paying Sharon for anything. And 50 cents was a lot of money. It was five whole weeks of allowance. But he decided that if Sharon's recipe didn't work, he'd ask for his money back. It was easy. The next morning, Andrew turned the combination of his safe bank to just the right numbers. Four on top and zero on the bottom. He took out five dimes. He wrapped them in tissue and stuffed the whole thing in his pocket. He didn't have time to wash his ears or neck or anything. He wanted to see Sharon before the last bell rang. Bye, Mom, Andrew called. Andrew Marcus, wait a minute, his mother hurried over to him. She almost tripped on her long bathrobe. The curlers in her hair scratched Andrew's face as she checked his ears and neck. Please, Mom, can't we skip it just this once, Andrew begged. Mrs. Marcus stepped away from Andrew. She pointed a finger at him. Okay, she said. I'll let you go this time, but tomorrow I'm looking again. And Andrew, zip up your pants. Andrew looked down. Zippers were a pain. This afternoon, when you come home, I'll be next door. Mrs. Burroughs invited me over to play cards. You come get the key for me, okay? Sure, Mom, okay. Andrew raced to school. He could hardly wait to see the secret recipe. First, he'd look at it, and if it didn't seem any good, he just wouldn't pay. Sharon was already at her desk when Andrew arrived. He went right over to her. Did you bring it? he asked. Bring what? Sharon opened her eyes real wide. You know what? The secret recipe for freckle juice. Oh, that. I have it right here. Sharon patted her pocket. Well, let's see it. Do you have the 50 cents? Sharon asked. Sure, right here, Andrew patted his pocket. I'm not going to show it to you until you pay, Sharon said. Andrew shook his head. Oh, no, first I want to see it. Sorry, Andrew, a deal's a deal. Sharon opened a book and pretended to read. Andrew Marcus, Miss Killy said. Will you please sit down? The second bell just rang. This morning, we'll begin with arithmetic. Nikki, please pass out the yellow paper. When you get your paper, begin working on the problems on the board. Andrew went to his seat. Then he took the tissue with the five dimes out of his pocket. He held it near the floor and aimed it toward Sharon. She sat in the next row. Sharon stuck out her foot and stepped on the tissue. Then she slid it over until she reached it with her hand. She bent down and picked it up. Miss Kelly didn't notice. Sharon counted the five dimes. Then she took a piece of folded up white paper out of her pocket and threw it to Andrew. It landed in the middle of the aisle. Andrew leaned way over to pick it up. But he lost his balance and fell off his chair. Everybody laughed, except Andrew and Miss Kelly. Miss Kelly sighed. Oh, Andrew, what are you up to now? Bring me that note, please. Andrew picked up the secret recipe. He didn't even have a chance to see it. It wasn't fair. It cost him 50 cents for nothing. He handed it to Miss Kelly. She read it. Then she looked up at him. Andrew, you may have this back at 3 o'clock. She put it in her desk. I don't want this to happen again. Do you understand? Yes, Miss Kelly, Andrew mumbled. Good, now let's get that arithmetic done. Miss Kelly wasn't bad, Andrew decided. She could have ripped up the recipe or sent him to the principal's office or even made him stand outside in the hall by himself. Andrew could hardly wait for three o'clock to come. He didn't bother counting Nikki Lane's freckles. Soon he'd have his own. When the second bell finally rang and the class marched down the hall, Andrew went up to Miss Kelly. 
She held the piece of white paper and waved it at him. Here's your note, Andrew. I have the feeling it's important to you, but from now on, you must pay attention in class. Andrew took the recipe from Miss Kelly. After tomorrow, I won't have any trouble paying attention, he promised. Just you wait, Miss Kelly. I won't have any trouble at all.